Hello there, it's Matt with Semper Fly, and if you've been following this channel along, you would know that I have a 1946 Piper Cub J3. As you see from this picture here, she was getting a bit long in the tooth. For almost an 80-year-old girl, she needed some work done. Her engine was getting tired, some fabric work needed the dressing, and the paint was in horrible shape. So we flew her down to my mechanic's hangar and took her apart. The interior fabric was in pretty bad shape, as well as the eyebrows, so that got addressed. The wings got new ribs, new bows, a lot of new fabric, and a new coat of paint. I talked in the earlier video about picking what color yellow, but suffice it to say, eventually we started laying new paint on the new fabric and getting it back to the color it was supposed to be. One thing you'll notice from this picture here is I took the large end numbers off the fuselage and put them back on the tail and just went with the plain black stripe down the fuselage. My engine had uh, somewhere around 11, 1200 hours, but it had not been rebuilt since the late 1960s. And to be honest, I really thought an overhaul was coming in my near future. Rather than get the airplane all back together and then within six months or a year have to address the engine in a big way, I decided to go ahead and upgrade to another engine. This is the 85 horsepower Continental engine that is now on my airplane. This is it sitting on a test stand, so obviously the baffling is not needed. And I do still need to address the valve covers. Here you can see a picture of the engine on my airplane, and it also came with an upgraded prop, which I was able to just swap out with my mechanic for the prop I received last year at annual. This engine also comes with a lightweight starter hooked up to a battery. And here she is, all put back together, ready for the flight back to my hangar. In this shot here, you get a better look at the new paint scheme with uh, small end numbers on the tail and just a plain black lightning bolt stripe on the fuselage. If you look real close in this picture to the top of the wing strut where it hits the wing, you can see a new tie-down fitting was attached. Here's a close-up of the seat belt attach points. The top right one is for the front seat passenger, and that one gets bungee cord to one of the steel tubes in the overhead when flying solo. Here's a picture I took right before I got in, started her up, and flew her back to my hangar. I've only got about a half hour on her because the weather's been really bad to fly, but I can tell she's a completely different airplane with the 85 horsepower engine. Hopefully in the next week or so I can get down and start putting some more hours on her. Until then, hit subscribe and keep flying.